Right now, we're facing a man-made disaster of global scale. Our greatest threat in thousands of years, climate change. If we don't take action, the collapse of our civilizations and the extinction of much of the natural world is on the horizon. Together, we can make real change happen. Leaders of the world, you must lead. The continuation of our civilizations and the natural world upon which we depend is in your hands. You say you love your children above all else, and yet you are stealing their future in front of their very eyes. And I want you to panic. I want you to act as if the house was on fire. We are in the midst of the sixth mass extinction, and the extinction rate is up to 10,000 times faster than what is considered normal, with up to 200 species becoming extinct every single day. Erosion of fertile topsoil, deforestation of our great forests, toxic air pollution, loss of insects and wildlife, the acidification of our oceans. These are all disastrous trends being accelerated by a way of life that we here in our financially fortunate part of the world, see as our right to simply carry on. The future of humanity is at stake. While you work to meet the challenge of climate change, I beg of you, don't forget nature. If we don't stop the destruction of our natural world, nothing else will matter. Every week we're seeing new and undeniable climate events, evidence that accelerated climate change is here right now. Droughts are intensifying, our oceans are acidifying, with methane plumes rising up from the ocean floor. We are seeing extreme weather events and the West Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets melting at unprecedented rates, decades ahead of scientific projections. None of this is rhetoric and none of it is hysteria, it is fact. The scientific community knows it, industry knows it, governments know it, even the United States military knows it. This is not a partisan debate, it is a human one. Clean air and a livable climate are inalienable human rights. And solving this crisis is not a question of politics, it is a question of our own survival. This is the most urgent of times and the most urgent of messages. Honored delegates, Leaders of the world, I pretend for a living, but you do not. The time to answer humankind's greatest challenge is now. It's very important that we, we take action today to recognize that we are making a very significant change to the chemical constituency of the atmosphere uh, and the oceans, um, and one that is almost impossible to reverse. Um, and uh, I think you know, when we look back on, on these days in the future, we want to be able to say that we, we did the actions that were, were right, the actions that, that were important, because I think it's very difficult to say, you know, if you go, say, 20, 30, 40 years in the future, you know, what do you say to your kids or your grandkids, you know? It's not as though, like, the, <clears throat> I mean, it's like the, the scientists all say that these bad things are going to happen, it's like 97%. So like say, well, to your grandkids, your kids, like, well, did nobody tell you? No, it's like, no, everyone was telling us. <laughs> okay, so why didn't you do anything? What's the answer? <laughs>